if we think in terms of small pieces of our rack, five units out of our 25 units, and how can I make that five units work for me? And if it works for me, that's great. Then you say, is that my goal for the day? If it's not, put the next five units out there and do it again. Um, in today's journey, I wanna talk about discipline again. We've talked about discipline a number of times, and I've given this lecture actually a number of times about discipline challenges. And I think um, having discipline is a big deal. The reasons why our daily paycheck show for the most part is about a 70 plus percent win rate, it's not because the strategies are great. It isn't because we've devised strategies that win 75% of the time, even though they do, okay? It's not that. All strategies will win at their expected rate and lose at their expected rate. It just is what it is. I think having discipline, I think having self-control, I think being aware of your bankroll, all of those things play into it. And it's days like yesterday and today where yesterday just wasn't going well and you cut ties and you bug out. It's days like today where you know, we were at that precipice of, of saying, well, it's time to bug out. And when we got to where it was good, you cut ties and you run, right? Discipline, I think, is a difference maker. On days where it's going really south, I think a lot of players make bad decisions and let it keep going south. And you not only feed the house edge that way, you're feeding the house that way. So I believe that discipline, to me, is a big difference maker. It's not an advantage to you, in terms of flipping the house edge, it's an advantage to you in terms of, of, of your mindset and not giving it up. Not giving it up all the way, right? Being smart. So today I wanna to challenge your discipline a little bit and we're gonna do some challenges. I'm gonna, I'm gonna present these to you as things that I want you to try and do if you wanna take gambling seriously. If you wanna take gambling as, as a fun exercise, these challenges are probably not, not very meaningful for you. But for those of us who wanna play more seriously and like use our time at the casino, especially your local trips to the casino, to build bankroll, right? And why do you build bankroll? You build bankroll so that you can bet more, right? If you have a $1,000 bankroll, you're, you're probably buying in for 250 and you're betting $5 units. If you have a $10,000 bankroll, you're buying in for two grand, right? And you can bet $25 units and make more money. You build bankroll to make bigger bets to build bankroll and ultimately, you know, some kind of goal. Maybe, you, maybe you're doing all this so that you can afford to pay off your car or whatever, right? If that's your, 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 your lot in life, you wanna go and be a, not professional, but you wanna play profession, like, like a professional or play like with a purpose, these goals will help you. Here's one, the 10, 20, 30 challenge. I've, I've given this one to you before. Can you be a pro? I dare you, I challenge you, drive to your local casino. Bring a hundred bucks. And the reason why a hundred bucks is an important thing here, it's the money is so low, it doesn't matter. Most of you probably can afford to light a hundred dollars on fire. Okay. So I want you to go to the casino every day with a hundred dollars and win ten dollars and leave. A small goal. Just take a hundred bucks, lose the hundred, or win ten. Okay, you're gonna win ten dollars most of the time. It's not that hard to win ten bucks. Well, it, it maybe it is, I don't know. Win $10 and leave. And again, it's not about the 10 bucks. The 10 bucks is not gonna cover your gas money or your toll money, I know that. It won't cover the coffee <laughs> that you bought on the way up there or, or your whatever, right? It won't. It's not about the money. But the thing is, it's such a small amount of money that it's so meaningless that you're gonna fight yourself saying, God, what am I doing here for $10, right? I, can you do it? Can you go up there and physically simulate a month of professional play. Monday through Friday, 20, 20 times a month, go up there with $100, win 10 and bug out. Literally, drive, play, and leave. Not drive, win your 10 bucks, and then do other things that you were gonna do anyway. No, drive, win $10, and walk away. This is a, a way to build that discipline muscle up, to prove to yourself that you have what it takes to go build a bankroll. You cannot build a bankroll if you're not willing to drop in, and sometimes it's five minutes, and leave. Sometimes it's an hour grind to win 10 bucks, but can you do it? Can you do the real DGen way and go 30 days in a row? Like I wouldn't recommend you do that, but um, win 10%, 20 days or 30 days in a row, 100 bucks. Again, it's not about the $10 that you're winning, it's about the experience of doing it. If you can't do that, then you're never gonna be able to build a bankroll. You're not, you don't have what it takes 
to build a bankroll. This is a great challenge to kind of level set where you are. Do this in Crapsy. If you can't have a local casino, go to Crapsy. Whatever the buy-in at Crapsy, whatever they give you, a thousand bucks, whatever it is, I dare you to go to Crapsy on any one of our shows. Take the buy-in, win 10%, and then stop playing. And just watch, sit back and watch the shows. Watch the guys roll. Do you have what it takes, or even turn the show off. Win your 10%, maybe a better challenge is go there, win your 10%, and turn the channel off and stop watching. Like disconnect completely might be a better challenge. That's one challenge you can do. Um, another challenge I think is good is my three unit challenge. I've done this one with you a million times. This is a fun one. Take 15 units, whatever the number, whatever they are, 15 reds, 15 greens, 15 blacks, doesn't matter. Win three. Turn 15 units into three units, That's, or, or into 18, win three units profit. If you can reliably do that, okay, learn how to, this is again, this is some short stack mentality here. If you can reliably turn 15 units into 18 units, winning three, you can turn your bankroll into groups of 15 units and repeat, 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 right? That's a 20% win, by the way. Three units out of 15 happens to be 20%. So you can do that on the regular. Think about how cool that is. If you can repeat that and don't think about, oh, I got all this bankroll, let me win 200 bucks. I think I got these 15 chips, I'm gonna win three. I'm gonna win three. Again, reducing the scope, it puts you in that short stack mentality and when you can do that on the regular, it changes the way that you approach your entire stack and it changes the way you, you'll play in certain situations. So you might have sometimes only 15 units left in your rack, try and win three back. Okay, cool, put that three aside, try and win it again. Put that three aside. Now you got six over here. If you can rinse and repeat that, right, for a period of time, you can earn back your money without trying to hit the nasty home runs, all right? Another challenge after you is the 51 challenge. Again, it's the same sort of thing. Start with five, win one. Again, super short, super short stack mentality. Start with five, win one. Um, again, rinse and repeat. You'll be surprised at how fast those one unit wins will stack up if you can win regularly and stick it out. This is like the headless horseman. This is like literally two units on the don't, three come bets. If you win anywhere in that realm, you win one unit, you did it. That's the challenge. Turn five into, in, into six, right? And again, if you can repeatedly do that, and five into six, five units into one unit could simply be going across, right? Minus a number. One unit, $10 on five of the six numbers, hit one of them, that's one unit win and be done. Rinse and repeat that, okay? Think about winning, winning one unit um, with a starting position of five units, okay? Again, not easy to pull it off. And the last one I'll give you here is a 560, which again is what I've been doing in the garage every day. Start with five units, win three units, 60% profit. It's not easy to do. It's not easy to do, but that's a paycheck. It's what I'm doing out there. We're taking five units, looking to win three. And in the odds maker, that's what I've done. We're 12 and seven, 12 times. I've risked basically five black chips and I've won about three black chips. I've won about 250 to 300 bucks 12 times. I've done it. So is it doable? Yeah. Is it hard? Hell yeah. But that's paycheck time, right? That's risking five to win a three. That's awesome. Try it with different size bets. Um, turning $500 into $800 is way different though when you're betting reds, greens, or blacks. And again, you can practice this at any level. You don't gotta be at black chip or green chip. You can go to the bubble crafts and practice these things. But these are, are interesting challenges, I think, that stretch your, or not stretch, but they test your, your, your brain's capacity for exercising discipline and making good choices. This is what it all boils down to. Challenges like this, help you look at your bankroll in smaller pieces and have more attainable, smaller goals versus taking the entire thing and going, well, we're just gonna burn it up and go 640 across 10 times and hope for the best, right? These challenges, I think, get your mind right. So um, I invite you to challenge yourself with any one of these things. And I'm gonna go to my table here, actually, and let's try them. We got a little bit of time here. Let's try some of these challenges and see how they work out for us, okay? And again, All right, here we go. I've got, let's do the, um, let's do the 15 unit challenge first, okay? So I'm gonna take, let's see, we've got uh, four, there's five, there's three, 
There's 10 units. There's two. There's 15 units. All right, there's 15 units. We'll do the 15 unit challenge. Can we turn 15 units into a profit of three units? And, and again, I don't know how to do this yet. I haven't really put much thought into how we're going to do it. But we have lots of ways we can play here. Now, 15 units can be can be turned into, into three units a, a, a ton of ways. Um, we can do, we don't have enough money really to do a field parlay. Um, we could try it, but it's going to be really, you don't have enough money really here to, kind of, I think, go after that. Um, but it's, it's, it's worth thinking about, I suppose. One simple way to do it is to take one crack on a pass line with odds. Another way to do it is to take three inside hits. Okay, so one thing we can try and do here to win three units is this. I know that I can win if I take $66. Let's do 66. We'll do um, 86 across. Okay, so that'll be $14 and change. 86 across will look like this. And here's how, here's how it's going to work. Let's do um, a $10, 4 and 10, and 66 inside. Okay, so we'll do a little, a little skill 66 in there, but I'm going to keep the 4 and 10 in play. And we're going we're gonna to go ahead and hammer these guys, okay? If the 66 works, it's a two-unit win. If a 4 or 10 happens to pop, that'll be a unit for us if we can get a repeat on it, right? Let's, let's just see what happens. Let's try this simple all-in across strategy to try and win a couple of units here. All right, here we go. There's a nine is the point, right? Let's just avoid disaster here if we can. There's a six, a five, one, six, $21. Okay, that's one, almost one unit, okay? Um, we're gonna go ahead and same bet it right now. I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do a, a actually, no, we're gonna take one dodge. We'll do a skill 66, I forgot. We'll do a 66. We'll press up the insides. I forgot what I was doing, um, like so. Let's get one more inside hit. Can we do it? We got a nine. That's perfect, right? That pays $23 or $28, right? There is two units. That's two units. If I, if I pull this all down, okay, we have our $28 there. I'm going to pull this back. Actually, I'm going to take the 66 bucks and leave it here in front. There's, there's our $66. Okay, we'll, we'll use that again. Okay, but what we've pulled back off the table here is 50 bucks. 20, we know this, the skill six six wins 50 bucks. That is a two unit win right there, okay? Um, I'm gonna make that look like, look like a quarter, okay? There's two, we're trying to win three units, okay? This is gonna be one of those good enough for government work things, okay? We'll put the $66 back out here again. We still have our four and 10 out here in play, okay? We've won two units, but we, we're not in profit yet because we have money on the table still, okay? You can make two choices here. We talk about making good choices, right? One choice, two units is good enough, go home, you're satisfied, right? The goal today was to win three. It's a three unit challenge. Let's roll the dice, we had aces. We got a 10, okay? 10 wins, $18, okay? We can actually do, if you want to, 20 for two. Where are we right now in our three unit challenge? This again, are we close enough? Let's find out how close we actually are. Let's take all this down. All of it. There's a hundred. There's four greens. Look where we are. 15 units in the, in the rack. There's our, there's our starting 15 units. There's one, two, almost three units. Okay, we, we, we bucked it a little bit there, right? We, we almost got three units, but again, in our show on satisfaction, not quite three, damn close enough to it, that would be enough for me to walk. 42 bucks instead of, or, or uh, uh, 50, 60, five, $67 instead of $75 is close enough at three units, okay? Simple little thing, right? Easy to work for the third one. If that 10 was something different, we'd have been a little, a little better shape maybe. But there it is, right? There's 15 into three. Um, you just probably, do it, let's do it again. Let's do it, one, more, one more crack at that. We'll do, uh, 
We have two shots at a come ladder here, right? Let's do that. Let's let's get a new point. New point will be, well, that's a seven. Hold on. Let's get a. Let's catch a point. Another seven. I'm gonna want that here in a minute, I think. Uh, another step, boy, three sevens in a row. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Eight. All right, there we go. Points eight. Let's do a little come ladder. All right, a little one unit come. And again, this is gonna be a seven unit deal. Seven green units. There's a six. The second bet is two units. One, always one unit more than what's out there. Can we do it? We got an eight. All right, we have two units on the eight. That's the point. Puck is off. Four units to the pass line. Aces. Oh my God, that really sucks. We lost four units there. What a bummer. Um, we're not going back out. Those two bets will live by themselves. There's a 10 for the point. Let's go. Can the come ladder do it? No, we lost all seven units. What a bummer. Right, we turned 15 units into eight units there. That's not great. Let's catch a new point. We'll try it again. Maybe this is the, be a big loser for us here today, right? There's a four. Let's do a come. Hit the point. Two unit pass line. It's a six. Four units in the come, and that'll be our last bet. Oh shit, we did it again. We lost the four unit bet twice on freaking aces. Can you believe that? Um, wow, so this time it's gonna totally fail. There's an eight. We might get lucky here, but um, yowza. Five. Seven, lost it all. Okay, well that time, the 15 unit challenge fails, but you can see, um, the point on that one would be this. You're gonna to go to the casino with 15 units to win three or not, right? Here we burned the whole thing trying to win three. The first time it was easy, the second time it was hard. Um, let's do it, let's do another one. Let's do 15 one more time. Nice quick one. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll do, um, let's do, yeah, we'll do 15 again to win three. But this time we'll, we'll go hardcore. This time we'll be a degenerate. Um, and we'll put enough out here uh, to win three units. Okay, so we're gonna go with, let's do 330. Let's see, there's, boom, boom. All right, we're gonna go 330 inside. I'll take this quarter here as nickels. And we'll go 20 bucks on the four and the 10 just to get some action out there and have some fun. Puck is off. And let's do a, a 15 units to win three units YOLO style. There's a 10. If we catch a four or 10, there'll be bonus money, but let's get an inside number. Okay, there's a six hard. And this time, the 15 units becomes a four unit win and you're home, right? That's, an, that's a YOLO, bye bye kind of a way of doing it, right? Now, again, I wouldn't recommend you do that, but it's an option. All right, let's go to the five unit one. Let's do five units this time. We'll do five units. One, two, three, four, five. Now imagine, and, and again, this could be, we'll do it in reds if you want to, it doesn't matter. One, two, three, four, five units. We'll do a five unit challenge, okay? A five unit to win one unit. Okay, five to win one. And again, if, you, if you're stuck in a short stack situation where you, all you've got is five units, and sometimes you have five units available because you've won your goal and have five units in extra money, that's great. Sometimes you're down to five units and it is what it is. Let's try and win one unit out of five units. We'll come out. From the don't pass, we'll do a little, come, a little uh, headless horseman here and we're gonna lose our don't pass bet, which, which kinda sucks. Um, so we'll go uh, with a one unit and two unit horsemen. There's a one, two, three. That was a one, two, three. So it pays. We go to the nine and do our three come bets. And we hit the nine. Boy, boy, talk about bad luck. <laughs> All right, there's that. Puck is off, we're coming out. Four, okay, should have been on the don't, but we're not. 
But talk about some bad luck, man. I'll tell you what, today is, these, this demo sucks today, right? Um, there's my seven, which is fine. They pay each other and we're coming back out. I'll do a two unit don't on the way out here. Um, that goes to the six. And just one combat, we'll do a little miniature horseman right here. Um, and we're gonna knock our six off. How great is this? Talk about burning a bankroll during a demo, right? Jeez, Alou. Um, there's that. There's a four for the point. We have no chance of winning. No chance of it, right? There's a five, three, eight. Let's get some coffee over here. There's a four. That's the point. Hmm. Another one. How about a six, Shooter? Can you get a six? Got an eight. Come on. Let me win one bet here for this poor guy, right? Another four. Good gravy. That's like five fours. Aces. Ten. There's the ten. There's a yo. Come on. How about a six? Jeez, a loo. Oh, the ten is the point. Um, Ace deuce, jeez. Come on, seven. All right, well there we go. We burned all five units. Trying to win one. It's hard sometimes, man, to win five to win one unit out of five, right? And the other example I gave you for that, by the way, was this. Three, four, five. Let's get a, actually. Let's get a point. Let's grab a point. It'll be a five. Let's do everything but the point, right? As our place bets. Okay. Turn five units into one unit of profit, but this is the degen way. All in, one hit or not, right? There's a four, four, eight, and in that case, you hit, you get lucky and you do it. Remember we talked about this a while back, like this style of play, you're gonna win, you're gonna win one unit on this a number of times, whatever, whatever this happens to be. This is a, a 10, 14, uh, this is 20 ways to win at a, at a six way, 20 ways to win, six ways to lose, right? Um, so that's going to be three out of 10, so 13. So it's, it's whatever, that, whatever that percentage is, it's like 70% chance to win. You're going to win this seven out of 10 times. You're going to lose this all six times. You're going to win 20. You're going to lose six over the course of time. You'll end up being upside down by whatever the house edge is. That's what's going to happen to you. But if you can pull this off more often than not and be lucky about it, that's a way to grab one unit out of five D-Gen style versus building it up style. Another way to do that, here's five units again. Okay. Let's take 75 bucks out of that and we'll go 64 across. So we'll take $9 and change. I'm sorry, eleven dollars and change. What am I doing? Okay, here we go. Sixty-four across. We'll grab a new number, and again, we'll do this one a little more carefully, but we'll do it kind of tear pressure style, right? There's a five, four, nine. There's a yo. There's the big nasty. There's the seven. So that sucks, right? We lose the sixty-four. I've got sixty-one dollars left in the rack. Um, so I owe the world, I'm going to borrow from my neighbor three bucks and we'll take another crack at it. Six. Midnight. Ten on the end. We got a ten. That'll pay uh, 18 bucks. Goes to a quarter. Five, sweet. It pays 15 for one, goes to a quarter. There's a six, that's the point. Pays 14 bucks. Get back a dollar change. It goes to a quarter. Puck is off, we're coming out. It's a four. 
And here we go, money shot time. Time for the money shot. Got three, we need one more. One more of anything, it's a four. That'll work. That'll pay 18 bucks, it'll pay 20 for two. Okay, and here we come. Down on that one, down on that one. Back to 64, and we've got our $64 back in the rack. Okay, I'll give the $3 back to the house that I borrowed. Okay, there we go, 60 bucks in the rack, 64 bucks out here, we're back to normal. Just gotta pull it off a second time, right? Turn five into one. That's all we gotta do, five, four, nine. Um, that pays 14 bucks. Come on, Johnny. 14 bucks, and we can half press it. And start bringing some money back. Again, keeping track of where we are. Six pays 14. Exchange the cap, make it look like 18. Again, as soon as I get, we'll know this in a minute here, right? You gotta do your math. As soon as you get, there's a quarter. So 75 bucks. As soon as I've got five units in the rack, I know that I'm good out here, right? So I've got 75 out there. I got about 75 out here. We're almost home, right? There's a six. I think that's gonna do it, actually. It's $21. Okay, I think we're there. I think we can take 10, 20, 30, I got 15 on the nine. So 10, 20, let's see, it's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. I got $73 out there, which makes me there. Check it out. Knowing where you are is kind of a big deal. There's 75 bucks. That is our starting five, which means I have 25, 40, and a bunch of whites has changed. So there it is, we did it. We actually lost money, fought back a little bit, and have not only one, but a little more than one unit in profit. Five into one, we did it. Even though we got beat once, we still came back and did it. Pretty cool, right? Um, but again, small, small pockets of, of, of coin, small goals, and rinse and repeat. Yeah, you could stay out here forever. We've shown you how half pressing works forever. You can just pull it back and be done, right? That, and again, picture this series of bets as being done. I think John Patrick used to call the bets that you're running right now a series. And if my series goal, my series is five chips, my goal is one chip, we pulled the goal off. Come back to your rack. Remember yesterday we talked about making good, good choices. Come back to your rack and you had the red light, yellow light, green light. Now we stop, look at our rack, and we did it. Now I'll put the money back. We had 40 bucks in profit. Now we pause. What do we want to do? What's our next choice? Are we, are we at our session goal? If we're not at our session goal, then you go back out and do it again. If you're at your session goal, it's time to walk. And you take these small little kind of slugs or, or, or sections of your rack and rinse and repeat these challenges. And again, think of your, of your gameplay in small series, run these small challenges from these little tiny parts of your rack. Because again, you might have 10 more sets of five units in your rack, 10 series to try. That's just a, an example of it. So there's, you know, again, the dice did what they did today, right? They helped us once, they hurt us once, and that's the way it's gonna be. But if we think in terms of small pieces of our rack, five units out of our 25 units. And how can I make that five units work for me? And if it works for me, that's great. Then you say, is that my goal for the day? If it's not, put the next five units out there and do it again. Make the goal, is that my goal for the day? And you kind of rinse and repeat that if you're goal oriented. And again, this all goes back to these earlier points, right? If you're goal oriented, that's the way that you play. These principles are designed to help you hit your goal and walk away a winner more often than not, right? If your goal is to felt the table, then that's not gonna work for you. You gotta stay out there and bleh, go forever, right? This is a way to, I think, be a little bit more focused on small parts of your rack and make the small parts of your rack earn 
more small parts to your rack. And that's, I think that's, oh, that's been uh, a, a way that I've, I've kind of approached. And I think if you're gonna try and build bankroll, that's the way to do it. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Uh, please feel free to leave us a comment here in the, in the comment section for the video, but really better still, join us on Discord. Go to casinogaming.tv and hit the community link in the menu there and join our Discord. That's where me, other uh, YouTubers, and all of our uh, subscribers hang out. We sit there and talk strategy and just BS kind of all day long. It's a great way to get connected and stay connected and kind of interact with the team, um, learn about meetups and, and get togethers and all that kind of stuff. So with all that said, again, thanks for watching. I really appreciate your time. God bless you, and I will see you in the next one.